construction of Kila Photovoltaic Power Station, which is a part of a hydrosolar hybrid power station with the world's highest installed capacity was due to begin on July 8 in southwest China. With a reliance on sunlight to generate electricity, the power generation of photovoltaic power stations fluctuates between day and night and with weather events. The hydropower component helps to regulate any instability in the photovoltaic power supply to provide stable and high-quality clean electricity for the power grid. The power station is 4,000 to 4,600 meters above sea level, with a total investment of over 5.3 billion yuan, an installed capacity of 1 million kilowatts, and an average annual power generation of 2 billion kilowatt-hours, which can meet the electricity consumption of about 1 million urban households. And it is planned to be connected to the grid at full capacity in 2023. After the completion of the first phase of the power station, the annual electricity output can save more than 600,000 tons of standard coal and reduce carbon dioxide emissions by more than 1.6 million tons. After the project is fully completed, it can contribute more than 220 billion kilowatt hours of clean electricity every year, which is equivalent to reducing the consumption of standard coal by about 70 million tons and reducing carbon dioxide emissions by about 180 million tons. At present, the common power stations are mainly hydropower stations and thermal power stations. Then, what is a water solar complementary power station? What are the difficulties in building a large power station on the plateau? How did the engineers overcome it? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about today. At first, let's tail a look at what is a water solar complementary power station. In fact, photovoltaic power plants rely on sunlight to generate electricity, and the power generation peaks at noon, but drops to zero at night and the power generation will also decrease during cloudy days. Therefore, due to the randomness and volatility of photovoltaic power generation, the generated electric energy cannot be directly connected to the grid and delivered to users. But the Kila photovoltaic power station perfectly solves this problem, because there is a supercharging treasure nearby Lianghegu hydropower station. This hydropower station with an installed capacity of 3 million kilowatts can use its unique adjustment ability to realize the development of water-solar complementarity. First, the photovoltaic power station transmits the electricity to the Lianghegu hydropower station and becomes a virtual unit of this hydropower station. Then, the hydropower station uses its powerful adjustment ability to smooth the randomness and fluctuation of the power generated by the photovoltaic power station and provide stable, high-quality clean power for the grid. At the same time, there are seasonal differences in the output of photovoltaic power generation, showing the characteristics of large output in winter and spring and small output in summer and autumn which forms a natural complement with the characteristics of high water season in summer and dry season in winter of hydropower generation. In general, the total scale of clean energy bases in this basin exceeds 80 million kilowatts, of which hydropower is about 30 million kilowatts, wind power and photovoltaic power generation exceed 40 million kilowatts, and pump storage power generation exceeds 10 million kilowatts. When all completed, it will become one of the largest green, clean and renewable energy bases in the world. Experts believe that the Kila Photovoltaic Power Station has raised the global hydrosolar complementary development scale to the gigawatt level for the first time, which has a good demonstration effect and can create a model for large-scale centralized development of clean and renewable energy. Moreover, the hydrosolar complementary development model of the Kila photovoltaic power station can adjust the photovoltaic power station within the day through the hydropower station to promote the consumption of new energy. At the same time, by complementing the output characteristics of hydropower and photovoltaic power generation during the year, the utilization rate of the transmission line can be improved and the comprehensive power generation efficiency can be improved. But building a large-scale power station on a plateau is not an easy task, 
So what are the difficulties of this project? How did the engineers overcome it? The Kila Photovoltaic Power Station is located in the high cold and high altitude area, and the efficiency of personnel and machinery is seriously degraded. At the same time, the project engineering volume is large. The site area is about 16 square kilometers, which is equivalent to the area of 80 birds' nests, which brings huge problems to the project construction. In addition, due to its location in a vast and sparsely populated plateau area, the construction conditions of the Kola PV plant are harsh, making construction organization and management, equipment and material supply, and logistical support difficult, making project construction management extremely difficult. The construction team faced three main challenges. First, the construction period is short. The freezing period is from November to March of the following year. The construction area is covered with dark ice and permafrost. The minimum temperature can reach minus 30 degrees, and the construction window period is short. The second is plateau hypoxia. The average altitude is 4,300 meters, and the plateau climate is windy and hot, dry and hypoxic, and the human machine efficiency is seriously degraded. The third is the great pressure on fire control. Most of the construction areas are in forest and grassland areas, which are vast and open, and cannot be closed and managed, and the pressure on forest and grassland fire prevention and control is very high. For these problems, of course, advanced scientific and technological means are indispensable in construction to assist. Next, let's take a look at some of the technologies used in this construction. The biggest highlight of this construction is the cross-border integration of Digital Plus Photovoltaic to create a world-leading digital intelligent photovoltaic power station integrating water and light. By establishing an integrated operation and maintenance platform, using big data and artificial intelligence systems for intelligent diagnosis and analysis of equipment faults, and creatively integrating site safety warnings and equipment maintenance strategies, the intelligent integration of the entire business of photovoltaic power plants is realized. Efforts will be made to build a benchmark for intelligent photovoltaic power plants with integrated water and light in high-altitude areas. The introduction of digital twin technology to assist construction can significantly improve project quality, safety, efficiency, and environmental friendliness. Intelligent construction can provide technical support and safety guarantee for the long-term safe and stable operation of the power station, and the accumulated experience will also provide useful reference for the construction of high-altitude clean energy projects in China. So, what's the value of building such a large photovoltaic power station? Well, at first, the Kila Photovoltaic Power Station is the first 1 million kilowatt photovoltaic power station in Sichuan province and the largest hydrosolar hybrid power station in the world. Yajiang County and surrounding Lidong County, where the Kila Photovoltaic Power Station is located, are economically underdeveloped ethnic areas. The project construction will promote the development of agriculture, animal husbandry, tourism, transportation and other industries in ethnic areas through a series of measures such as photovoltaic plus characteristic industry, photovoltaic plus infrastructure improvement and photovoltaic plus employment. Last but no least, after the completion of the power station, the annual electricity output can save more than 600,000 tons of standard coal and reduce carbon dioxide emissions by more than 1.6 million tons, adding another weight to the realization of the dual carbon goal. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.